Hey, what's up, everybody? So I got the chance to check out Kristen Bale's new movie, Out of the Furnace. The film also stars Casey Affleck and Woody Harrelson uh, and a bunch of other great actors. So I'm going to give you guys my review, and pretty much, here we go. You want another? No, no Rodney was supposed to meet me here half an hour ago. Now, why the hell you want to fight? I just need the money. You're going to be a good boy and take a dive, and we're going to have to teach you a lesson. They haven't been able to find your brother. The people up in those hills at their own breed of justice, and it does not include us. Out of the Furnace is not really about the American dream. It's kind of about the American reality, uh, and that is that you work hard for a living, you make ends meet, and you kind of just live your life like that. And what we get here is we get two brothers, one played by Kristen Bale and one played by Casey Affleck, who are kind of at two different points in their life. Kristen Bale's character is hardworking, doesn't mind going to the steel mill every day and working for a living just to make ends meet. He is fine with that. He is fine with honest work to make a living. It's what his father did and it's what he believes is what he has to do to survive. Now, Casey Affleck, on the other hand, his character He's an army kid. He keeps getting stop lost, so he'll end up serving his time in the army, coming back here, then having to get be sent back. And he's seen some brutal things, and we can see that in their like in his eyes because Casey Affleck delivers a great performance. So pretty much what ends up happening is that Casey Affleck's character Rodney, I believe his name is, gets mixed up with Woody Harrelson's character, who is kind of a hillbilly drug dealer from hell. I mean, Woody Harrelson delivers. He delivers here as in like a psychotic. The first opening scene you see this guy, I mean, it's just, you know this kind of guy that he's about to be and it's crazy. And things happen, Kristen Bale goes out looking for his brother and that's what we see in the trailer. In the trailer we see all that and it looks like we're gonna get some type of like revenge action movie or something like that, something along those lines. Throughout the movie, you're just watching this guy's life, uh, Kristen Bale's life as bad things just keep happening to the guy. I mean, he tries really hard, he's a good guy, but bad stuff just keeps happening to him. Uh, we see Casey Affleck just kind of crumbling as a character. We see him just not handling things well. We see him just wanting to get out of this life, not wanting to stay in this town, wanting to just get that big payday through these underground fights. Um, and then we see Woody Harrelson's character who is psychotic as hell, and we see him, the person that he is, it's really more of a character study that we have here. We have all these three characters living their lives. The main issues that the movie has to me is that the movie doesn't quite know what it wants to be, or no, no. It knows what it wants to be, but it doesn't do a great job doing what it wants to be. It wants to be a character piece. It wants to be a realization of what life really is, that the American dream is not the American dream anymore. And that's what we get there. We get something that's like that. It's a movie that is just watching somebody's life, watching their life unfold in front of them, watching them crumble, and ultimately, the reality at the end is just the reality. Things don't work out for you, and things are just shitty like that. That's what we get here. The reason to go watch this movie is for the pure acting. I mean, Kristen Bell, Woody Harrelson, Casey Affleck all deliver phenomenal performances. I'm talking about top of the line. There's a reason I love Casey Affleck as an actor, and I think he's super underrated. And you see it here once again that when he gets something, he goes all in. I mean, he plays his character to a T. We know that Christian Bale is a badass, and he's just going to do his thing. Woody Harrelson, again, just could do no wrong as well. He does comedy, action, drama. He does it all. We see all these characters, and they bring them to life. And just to see them, that's what engages me in the movie. I'm engaged because of the performances that I'm seeing. So one of the main issues that the film has is that the directing, it's not bad. It's just kind of odd, I guess you could say. He wants it so hard to be a like a piece about like reality and how humanity really is and how living in today's society is. And he drills that into the movie by these long scenes that are unnecessary, scenes in general that just could have been cut out to the cutting room floor. He shortens scenes that could have been longer just to move the story along. I'm not, I just feel like he wanted so much for this movie to be, and the movie is, feels like two separate movies. It feels like a suspense thriller, but it also feels like a character study film where you're seeing these people just be who they are. So it's kind of like a mixed bag, but the performances are so good that 
I don't really care about the overall story. I mean, the story was okay, but nothing really special happens there. You just kind of don't know what the director was trying to go for because the first half of the film is one thing and then the second half is another thing and you're just like, what was the point of the first half? Just to see this person's life crumble until it crumbled some more. It's just, it's all over the place, but the performances are so good that I have to recommend this movie. I'm going to give this movie a 3.5 out of 5 because I thought it was a movie that wasn't great, but it was still really good and well worth watching. So watch the movie for the performances, but know that it's got a slow pace. Uh, it doesn't really go anywhere. The ending is cool, and it has a cool premise about revenge and brotherhood and all that, and it has a great Pearl Jam song, but just understand it's really, really slow at the beginning, and even towards the end, it's still, it stays slow throughout. Um, think of it like Prisoners, except that it was not as good as Prisoners. I mean, I didn't even like Prisoners that much. I enjoyed the hell out of it, but I didn't like it, so... Think of it like prison. It's just a really tough movie to watch. You're just watching and you're like, holy shit. Performances really stand out and they're good. If you guys want a written review, I have a written review on geek.nation.com where I just kind of go into it, give some details, and I guess it'll be better than the video because the video, I'm just kind of not sure what to say about it. But in the written review, I kind of just go on a tangent about everything that I really liked and didn't like about the movie. So go to geek.nation.com. You'll see it. It's up there. Um, search it in the search thing. You'll find it. It's up there. Look up for Out of the Furnace review and you'll see it. Uh, but yeah, the movie's good. I'm giving it a 3.5 because I just think that it worked for me. But I could definitely see it not working for a lot of people. But it worked for me. The performances were so good that I was engaged and I really just enjoyed myself at the theater. So that's all I have to say. Hopefully you guys like this review. It's kind of not a great review. I don't even know what to say about this movie. So make sure you guys go to geekdownation.com. Check out the written part and just kind of follow me. Subscribe. Comment below, check out the Facebook page, check out the Twitter account, Geek Dot Nation on Facebook, Geek Dot Nation on Twitter. Just check us out. We're we getting a lot of stuff. We just we're dedicated people who just love to love things. So definitely go check us out. Sorry this review's kinda sloppy, but I don't really know what to say about this movie. Enjoyed it, but I don't really know how. Without the acting, the movie would have just been whatever. But definitely go check us out on geekdownation.com, alright?